What is he doing? The doctors want to know what you gave him. What's happened? Is he okay? Whatever it was. It... Just tell me, is he okay? You're not going to believe this. He's in remission. Irene, are they absolutely sure? Doctors confirmed a couple hours ago. <laughs> He's going to live. So when are you getting here? Damn it, Irene, our boy is gonna live and all you can think about is your shift. Hey, don't you go running my ass. I've had enough grief from my landlord. Please, stay with him. I'll be there in a few hours. Kill your lights! Kill your lights! The pocket less luces. Where the vanos? Do where it's dead? Si, vamos. Menanos, esto ahora. Este perdiste, ¿no? That's eight yawns, eight shots. I told you that rule only applies at Harvard. No, it's a universal rule. You know this, whenever you pull an all-nighter, you gotta drink a shot for each yawn. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you collate the infection rate data? I will, I just gotta finish the standard deviation graph. Ryan, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Nine shots for me and now one for you. I hope you packed your drinking shoes because you're going to need them tonight. Remember that the loser gets to pick the poison. No. No way. We're not drinking shots of absinthe again. I'll have you know that absinthe has a great many medicinal properties. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, none of which actually cure the hangover it causes the next day. <laughs> Don't look. It's bad for your eyes. Can I open them now? Daddy! All right! Daddy! Is he okay? Your husband's colon is ruptured, causing bleeding into his abdomen. He should be out of surgery in about an hour. There's more, isn't there? He has colon cancer. What's the matter, Mommy? Hard to believe this is it. My little girl's going to Harvard. Don't forget to call me when you get there, okay? You got your sweater? Mom, I'll be fine. I just wish Dad could have been here. Oh, he is. Believe me, he's looking down on you right now. Beth, hey, Beth. Hey. Oh, God, what time is it? We've got 10 minutes. 10 minutes? R Ryan, I haven't finished the report. Why did you let me fall asleep? Relax, Beth, hey, we're good. I finished it. What would you do without me? <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Maybe we should just skip the meeting, huh? <laughs> it's tempting. It is very tempting. Mm. Come on. Hey, I just got the news. We're starting human trials in six weeks. Six weeks? You told me you were at least four months away. We were. The preliminary report from the Red Trials just came in this morning. They're calling a board meeting right now. Looks like our new chemo drug's gonna be a bestseller. When do you think you'll have your new drug ready? Not for another four months. The board is gonna fast track this one. We'll be hitting the market in half that time. Two months? No, that's impossible. I, I gotta go. I'll call you after the meeting. Hey, Ralph. They make it? 4-1, rescored twice. They're playing Long Beach tomorrow in the quarterfinal. You never send me the sales projections. You're kidding! I don't care if he's in Barbados. I want them now. Morning. Morning. Hey. I take it this is your first meeting with him. Uh-huh. Ryan, you left or right-handed? Right? Uh, why? Be prepared to lose your left. Huh? I can't guarantee he won't eat you alive, but it's good to know which limb you're willing to sacrifice. Uh -huh. Right. He can see you now. Thank you. I think it's best if Beth does the presentation. Um, Beth and I agreed to split it. She'll present the technical analysis. I'll Trust me, it's best if we have a single point person.
Go ahead, fire away. Okay. Well, as you know, our current chemoalkylating agents cause hair loss, increase susceptibility to infection, and weight loss. We have developed a new process that increases the drug's potency while significantly reducing these side effects. If you have a look at When the... will it be ready for market? Oh, well, we still haven't finished the tissue culture test. Fine. Well, if you leave your report with me, and I'll get back to you. That'll be all. Ultratech is starting human trials in six weeks. Human trials? Oh, I thought they were months away. <laughs> it seems they've been blessed with a minor miracle. There's no way we can beat them. We've only just begun tissue culture tests. I don't think you quite understand the precariousness of the situation. Hey, sit down. For over eight months, we've been killing ourselves. And he, he doesn't even care about side effects. We're making good progress. Really? Ryan, are we? Because all of our drugs, Lestapan, Nostaran, Triclostan, they're all just poison wrapped in fancy names. They'd call it marzipan if they thought people would buy more. And are we expecting a magic bullet? What happened to you? What do you mean? At Harvard, we talked about making a real difference. Together, we were going to find an actual cure. Look around you, Beth. This isn't Harvard anymore. This is business. I think you've been drinking the Scope Med Kool-Aid for a little bit too long. Well, not for much longer. Did you say yes? When were you figuring on telling me? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt. These are the new recruits. Yes, yes. If we don't release our new drug before Ultratech, this company goes under. The FDA won't allow human trials until we provide a complete toxicity reports. That's going to take at least three months of rat trials. Skip the rat trials. No, I'm sorry. It's impossible. So you're going to renege on our deal? Whoa. I did what you asked me to. We agreed it was just the once. I'm sorry, but I won't do that again. I hear your son's pretty good at soccer. What? It would be a shame if you couldn't watch his matches. What are you saying? It's mighty hard to raise a boy from prison. Or are you going to go to the police? I think you're forgetting we're in this together. Together? <laughs> oh. No, Ted. You acted alone. There's not a single shred of evidence pointing to me. Your word against mine. And who do you think the jury's going to believe? Hmm? CEO of a Fortune 500 company that donates 10 million a year to local charities? Or a biochemist with a drug addicted ex wife? She's been clean for two years. Now yeah, listen, Ted. All I'm asking you to do is to do this one more time. Yeah, how could I be sure you won't ask me to do it again? Would it help if I swore on your son's life? Get the basement ready and contact Carlos. Arrange. A new shipment for tonight, hmm?
It's your dad. What's that soccer camp you're always telling me about in Spain? What's it called? Real Madrid. Junior camp. I want you to pack your bag tonight. We're leaving tomorrow morning. We're going to Spain? You and me. You're gonna need your passport, so... Mom has it. I'll go ask her. No, 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 no. Don't tell her. This is our little surprise. Just the two of us, okay? Sure. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Dad. Thanks. They just delivered this. And the other boxes? Oh, this is it? I ordered ten. They screwed it up again. So, you will be testing this, our new chemo drug. Until the marketing department come up with a better name for it, we affectionately refer to it as RY341. First step is to take the tissue cultures from in here and heat them in the incubator for two hours and then run a live cell count. After that, head over to the containment room. So when you leave, I'm not going without you. Look, the position opens in a three weeks, Beth. There's a place for you, you just gotta ask. You're always complaining about working here. You'd be hard pressed to give me a single reason why not to quit, yet you stay. Ultratech want you to. They even offered to fund your research. Under no circumstances are either of you to ever enter this room. I assume you're both aware of what an oncogenic virus will do if it enters your bloodstream? Good, but imagine that times 10. The particular strain of Merkel cell polyomavirus that we've developed here causes accelerated tumor growth. Let's just say, if you are ever exposed, I hope you've got a short bucket list. George, can you pass me a tray? then take this tray over to the laminar flow cabinets where you'll inject the virus into the tissue cultures. Why are you making this so hard? We'll both have better jobs, we'll get paid more. We'll finally be able to afford an apartment. Scopamed or Ultratech, what's the difference? What are you so afraid of? You're always talking about wanting to develop a cure. But it's just that, it's talk. You blame scope of men, but you know what the real truth is? You don't have the guts. Because maybe you might fail. Beth Wakefield, award-winning PhD biochemist, might actually fail at something. You are such a jerk. No, I'm honest enough to admit that I want a good life and I want a good job. I don't hide that. That's right, I'm just like every other person. And my dreams are crazy. No, not at all. I absolutely categorically want you to succeed. But even if you don't, at least you'll have tried. What you got for me, Theo? Um, looks promising, but we still have the protein breakdown. Check the phosphate bindings. Get back to me, okay? That's still around, right? Uh, she was here a minute ago, man. Well, I gotta step out for a couple of hours. Need someone to supervise. Yeah, yeah, I can do it. Beth! <clears throat> can you take over? Actually, I was hoping to cut out. Please, two hours max.
pasado. My daddy's coming home today. That's nice. We made him chocolate cake with cream on the outside. I put the jelly beans on top. Licorice is his favorite. So he can come home, right? I'm afraid not. We've just run an EKG and, well, an unfortunate side effect of the chemotherapy drugs is an increased risk of cardiotoxicity. In plain English? The chemo drugs have damaged your husband's heart. He has late stage heart disease. <laughs> For eight months, the cancer and the chemo have withered him down to nothing. All the bleeding, the the vomiting. He said he didn't care as long as he survived. And now you're telling me that even if he makes it, he's going to die from heart disease? We have other drugs that can help maintain. Thanks for keeping an eye on her. You must have a lot of work. Sorry. It's OK. Beth, we got to go home. But what about Daddy? He can't come. Um, maybe tomorrow. You said he was coming home. You said it. I know. But we just have to Wait here. Let me go. Let me go. Beth. Uh, any news on the tissue cultures? Oh. Um. Is, is Ted back? Right. Well, they should be here tonight. Give me a sec. Pat here. Hey, we were expecting a delivery tonight. Have you got the order number? No, I don't. Ted organized it. Did you see him go past? Nope, haven't seen him. Oh, good. Then he must be still here. Could you patch me through to the room he's in? Uh, looks like he entered sub-level six about an hour and a half ago. Sub-level six? Are you sure? I thought that level was closed years ago. That's what I've got on my screen. Right. Um, do you think you could scoot down there and ask him? I'd be happy to, but even we don't have access down there. Well, um, if you do see him, could you tell him I'm looking for him? Will do. So... Still not here. Mi dollar is Pruebas. Y mil cuando terminen las pruebas. last. You want to head home?
Do you really... Do you really think that Ultratech will fund my research? Let me just say that when I mentioned your name, it was like they were stealing Tom Brady from the New England Patriots. <sighs> okay, I'm in. Really? That easy? You're not gonna run your decision through some formal regression test? <laughs> no. No, because you're right. I need to start my research. I've been putting it off for way too long. I was scared. I was scared that if I didn't succeed, then... Hey, you're not alone, you know. great little pizza place on the Lower East Side. Would you, would you ever consider living in Montana? On your farm? Well, not now, obviously, but maybe in the future. Are you talking about settling down? No, no. I'm just asking. Okay, before you continue, shouldn't you uh, be down on one knee for this? No, because I'm not proposing. It's just a question. got a spare ring in your pocket. No. But I know a pawnbroker on James Street, he might still be open. Really? Yeah. Really. Infected with the virus. Oh my god, how? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna call an ambulance. There's nothing they can do. He's right. There is one thing that can save me. What do you need? Go to my computer. Log on using these credentials. Username Lionel Stanton. Password Asclepius. Oh god, your hands. I think I broke three fingers. Let me at least bandage it. <laughs> Sorry to get you both involved in this. Should be a file called DCA. Did you find it? Yeah. yeah I think so. Which department developed this? I've, I've never seen a molecule like this before. It's the active ingredient in a drug. A drug that cures cancer. Son of a bitch. Did you just say cure? Wait, wait. So you're saying that this molecule cures cancer? <laughs> My God. This is amazing. Who developed it? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, the cure for cancer, it could have made billions. We already make billions. If the cure for cancer was ever released. No one would need our chemo drugs. The scope med would eventually go bankrupt. How long? How long have you had it? Oh, Ted. About 11 years. What? Do you have any idea how many people have suffered and died in that time? How many children were robbed of their parents? How many 
parents were forced to stand by helpless while their children suffered in agony and you could have stopped it! I only found out last year. I didn't have any choice. My son... No, no, you disgust me! What are you doing? I am doing what should have been done 11 years ago. I am releasing it! Wait! Wait! Let's just think this through. What is there to think about? I'm just gonna give it away. Yes, of course I am! Gosh, shouldn't someone get credit? What? You want me to sign it with all my love, Lionel Stanton? No. I'll Beth. upload it anonymously to the universities. No one will know. I'm just saying, Beth, you're not thinking this through. This is huge. A cure for cancer. This could win the Nobel Prize. People are dying, and we can stop it tonight, right now. I know, I know, but, but what if it doesn't actually work? I think of the millions of sick people around the world. What if we release it and it turns out not to be true? We owe it to them to be sure. Right. How long does it take to make? About 40 minutes. I've got a job for you and your team. Where? Right now. You get past the main gate, go to the rear of the building. On the loading dock, you'll find a package. It'll have everything you need. Where are the targets? Lab 18. Electronic maps and access codes will be in the package. You remember, this has got to look like an accident. How are we doing? Good. Just two more steps to go. That's the virus outbreak alarm. No! No! You have to finish it! We can't finish it if we're dead. Right! We'll come back. My car won't work. Try mine. Put your men into two groups. Clear every room from level five down. It's no use. They've all gone. Just wait here! I've already checked this area. There's no one left. Team one, meet us at the entrance. sure everyone is at least a hundred feet away, huh? A safe minimum distance, yes? Open the door! Can everyone move back, please? I understand you are all distressed. You might like to know our hazmat team have arrived and are now checking out the building. 
Due to the risk of you spreading possible contagion outside this facility, no one is allowed to leave this area until we have been given the all clear. How are you feeling? You got a fever? You sweating? No, I, I feel fine. It's been more than 10 minutes. If you've been exposed to the virus, you'd be feeling the effects by now. <laughs> it's just a troll. <sighs> Damn, you guys had us worried. Is the drill over? What drill? This was an emergency drill, right? Are you the only ones left? Yeah, I think so. We have to be sure. But we can still leave, right? No, not until we've checked all the other labs. There could be others like you locked inside. Graham will stay and help here. Come on, boys, let's go. can do. It's just around that corner. If you stand there, you can see it. Okay, but make it snappy. T-minus 15 minutes. Grant, do you copy? Over. Grant. Plan it, then meet us back at the entrance. Where's the exit? I'll tell you, but you have to finish the cure first. There is no time. They will be back any second. You have to tell us now. No. Not without the cure. To the lab. I'm not leaving. Call the formula. Find another way out. Beth. Beth. Grant, do you copy? They couldn't have gotten far. Search down the air. I'll go this way. Wait. Over there. You can't go it alone. Well, if we all go, he's gonna see us. Just wait here.
Drop it. Where are your friends? They're back at the entrance. I'm sorry, but you really weren't meant to see that. Save my life. Beth. Beth. You did what you had to do. Look at me. Look at me. You did what you had to do. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Looks like we'll all be needing a cure soon. There's a bomb down here. It's said to go off in 12 minutes. It's going to disperse the real virus. We have to disarm it. Do you know how to do that? No. Then we gotta get out of here. I know another lab where you can finish the cure. But this doesn't make any sense. If they, if they wanted to kill us, then why did they do it back at the entrance? If they kill us, the police will investigate it. We died by accident. Lionel's dirty little secret dies with us. No, no, not if we call the police now. Oh, let me guess, dead? They could be anywhere. Rob, you copy. This other exit. How long is it going to take us to get there? Uh, about 20 minutes, but that's 11 more than we got. Okay, we need to buy time. Won't make any difference. They'll all be in lockdown. Guys, stand back. Damn it. We'll burn through it. Burn? Fluoro sulfuric acid. Get the turkey shoot started. Don't shoot them. In less than five minutes, the virus will disperse through the entire building. We'll let it kill them. Save me now as a cure. Hurry! Three minutes! It's stuck. Forty-five! Oh, get another one. of the sub-level seats where you can finish it. That's six floors underground. It's also the way out. No, that's impossible. And very convenient. Okay. Okay, don't believe me. But they're gonna be here in a few minutes. And when they find their buddy, I don't think they're gonna be too pleased. Reduce secure, and I promise I'll get you both out of here. Okay. 
Okay, we got a deal. I want to hear from you, Beth. I promise. Okay, okay. Unless you want me to spill it, I suggest you find me a plastic bottle. in there. Let's do it. Okay, move out. Take cover. They're just plastic bottles. Take the stairs, come on! to capture him alive? I'll take that as a no. in this room. One floor up. They should have some tools in there. Sweep every room! your bags and wait for me out front. I should be a couple of hours. Hey, Dad. Can you teach me Spanish? Huh? Well, everyone at training camp will speak Spanish, right? Uh, do, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, sh sure, I'll teach you Spanish. Hey, Reese. Yeah? I love you, buddy. I love you too, Dad. How to use it? Yeah. Don't tell me. Your dad taught you. He had to wait till I was eight because the mask kept slipping off my head. <laughs> Grab that arc welding mask as well. Once we're through, we'll seal the door from the other side. Good idea.
Try pushing it. down on the right, past the offices. I need to talk to you alone. We need to keep moving. You know what? I need a minute. Look, you go on, I'll, I'll take care of him. You sure? Yeah, yeah, we'll be right behind you. Even if we get out of here, Lionel will keep hunting us down. He won't stop. If that cure gets out, scope him, will go bust. He won't let that happen. Now, if we get to another country, we might stand a chance, but we're gonna need money. You wanna sell the cure? Uh, you know she's never gonna go for that. Of course she won't. But without that money, we're as good as dead. Ryan, she's not thinking clearly. You have to make the decision for her. I guarantee you. When we get out of here safe and sound, she'll thank you for it. Brian, no one would argue you aren't smart. You were smart enough to follow Beth here. I didn't follow Beth here. We applied at the same time. She didn't tell you. Tell me what? She said she wouldn't work here unless we also offered you a job. I thought you knew. Some people that might buy it. Who? Ultratech. Ultratech? It's not what you think. I wasn't spying or anything. Frankly, Ryan, I don't care about Ultratech or Scopamed. We're on our own now. Look, I'll help you broker the deal with Ultratech and we'll split the money 50 50, okay? Sure. I got one other condition. What? I want credit for developing it. You want me to. Oh, I get it. And the Nobel Prize for Medicine goes to Ryan Earl. Million dollar cash prize. No, it's not about the money. It's about getting the recognition that I deserve. See, I busted my guts here, the same as Beth. I developed the core process for reducing the side effects. I agree to your condition. You'll get full credit for inventing it, but you have to promise me that you and Beth will finish it. We already promised. I'm not so sure about Beth. Don't worry about Beth. She'll do it. Come on. Wait. What were you doing down here, Ted? What do you mean? Earlier tonight. I know you were here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was. Lionel asked me to assess whether we could refurbish some of the old labs. I don't believe you. I don't believe a single word that you're saying. Lionel kept his secret hidden for over 11 years, but he told you last year. What did you do to earn his trust? This isn't helping. We won't get out without him. You trust him? Yeah, I do. Then I need to show you something. We don't have time for this. He's right. We need to get to the left. Ryan, please. Faster if we split up. Radio me if you find him. What the hell has got me? Just follow me. believe Ted's story. I'm just, I'm gonna take these off. No, no. There you go. This one. There you go. Alfredo. Where's Alfredo? Who's Alfredo? My husband. Go on. Get the help. It's gonna be okay. We are gonna make medicine for you and Alfredo. Oh my God. Lost the USB. It must have fallen out of my my pocket. Oh, I have to find it. Oh. Wait. The formula was loaded onto my laptop upstairs, right? Yeah. All I have to do is remote log in, and I can access it from here. You help her out of bed. Husband, please, you have to find him. He doesn't speak English. What's your name? Clarissa. Clarissa, I promise we will find your husband. Can you stand up? Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's it. Can't 
walk. It's okay. I've got it. There you go. Just two more steps. We're gonna come back for you, okay? Beth, we gotta go. Yeah. Come on. We will come back. Puedon quedar libros nuevamente. No te muevas, hazte corto. Dame la jeringa. Take it. It's for Clarissa. Wait, take this. It's for you. Please, Alfredo, wait. You should let him go. But if he doesn't get an injection. No, he'll take it to Clarissa. She'll explain everything. Then we can give him the cure.
¿Hueles eso? Por supuesto que no puedes. What are you gonna do with that? Hit me? Done running? Are you okay? I've got the cure. Clarissa. Oh, no, 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 no. Cl Clarissa! Clarissa! <laughs> what about Daddy? <laughs> you said he was coming home. You said it. Wait here. Let me go. Let me go. formula was loaded onto my laptop upstairs, right? Yeah. All I have to do is remote log in and I can access it from here. God. There's no network cable. He can't logged into his laptop. What is there to think about? Well, you're just going to give it away. Yes, of course I am. Oh, Shouldn't someone get credit? Um. This isn't helping. We won't get out without him. You trust him? Yeah, I do. What are you doing? Give me the formula. What? You had it all along. It's not what you think. Why'd you lie to me? Tell her the truth, Ryan. 
We agreed to sell it to Ultratech and split the money. Beth, I did it for us. Lionel is never going to let us just walk away. So we need money to start new lives. Please. Money. Please. Just think this through. How could you? Millions of people lie in hospital beds right now just hoping and praying that they could live just one more week. One more day. Give him one more hour. Fathers who will never see their daughters leave for college. Never see her graduate. Never see her get married. And never hold their newborn grandchild. within an operable brain tumor. A year ago, he suffered a massive hemorrhage. He would have died if it hadn't been for Lionel. He offered me the cure in exchange for running the human trials. I did it. I wanted my son to live. Lionel asked me to do again tonight. He threatened to kill Reese. I had no choice. I thought Reese and I could get away. Start a new life. In another country. of our lives on the run. <coughs> Always checking over our shoulder. That's no life for him. He deserves... Get to the end of the offices. Take the second door on the right. I'll pass through the boiler room into the service tunnel. You should turn right. Follow it to the end. You'll come out in the forest. It's 
a little early for training, isn't it? That's right. Scope of Med Pharmaceuticals. Okay. They're on their way. You sure this is the right way? You said the service tunnel should be at the end on the right. Hey! Wait, wait. This is the cure. Without it, the virus will kill you. You can have it if you let us go. You're hardly in any position to negotiate. Throw it to me. Throw it to me! Okay. My wound's exposed. I'm already infected. Uh, we'll get the syringe. No, no, Ryan. Ryan, think about this. You have got the formula. If he kills you, then no one will ever know you have to go. You have to get out of no, here. No, Ryan, no, go. No, I'm not going to let you die. Ryan. Uh, listen, take this. Whatever happens, don't turn back. No, Ryan, Ryan. You have no authority to be here. Mr. Lionel Stannon? Yes. You're under arrest for accessory to murder. Ah! 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 
You did it. We made you a chocolate cake. It's cream. And jelly. just confirmed that the anonymous formula they received earlier this morning could indeed be a cure for cancer. While they did caution that more rigorous testing is needed, current indications point to a breakthrough. The ninth Montana Beer Fest got underway last night. Oh. <gasps> 